Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler 2. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Anyone got a lucky penny? I mean, Particio does, kind of. It's not a penny, but, you mm -hmm. know. And J.K. Lantern! Somebody stole my number one dime! <laughs> yeah, this was awkward. Or he's not here. Yeah, oh, well. We did tell her to run. Yeah. But since when does she listen to us? True. So we have to switch it to nighttime. Yep. One leaf. I think you're misunderstanding me again, Mr. Rock. Huh? Uh, you're talking big about me leading people and sharing values and whatnot. But that's not how this story goes. Every merchant's got their own ideals and walks their own roads. Of course, not everything's all rainbows and roses. Sometimes people stumble. My goal's only to help them get back up when they fall. Hmm. Well, time to hit that dusty trail again. God, I love this song. Uh, by the by, Mr. Rock, seeing this contraption of yours gave me an idea. <laughs> After you rest a spell, how about joining me on a new business venture? This is possibly my favorite song in the game. Second favorite song in the game, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you never changed, do you? I've never met a merchant like you. And you probably never will. Hmm. Pap, I've finished most of the measurements. Nope, we don't get to pet the dog. Aww. That's so. Good work. Hmm. What do you think about it coming through here? Hmm. This valley is a detour, and we'll cut down on speed to boot. Optimal efficiency would be achieved by having the tracks travel straight as an arrow through town. Whoa, now, that's an urban area. I think the residents will take issue with that. Then we pay them to move. That 80 billion I'm investing in this venture should be used for something. Hey, you can build the new houses. No. <laughs> Some things can't be bought, Rock. Those are people's homes. They got memories there. Convincing them is your job. You're the one who's deft at tugging people's heartstrings. <laughs> From a logical perspective, this is win-win. The tracks will raise property values and bring in business. Everyone should benefit from this in the long run. Everyone, huh? <laughs> we stood here just like this once, 16 years ago. Remember? Our eyes were shining bright with hope for that silver mine, <coughs> and we worked like busy little bees. Yes. That's right. I've remembered something I had long thought forgotten. 
There is true value in toiling alongside equals, sweating and working for a common cause. Of course, the thing that really has me excited is this new business venture of ours. <laughs> the times, they are a change, you know? Rock, uh, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> None of that, Thurston. I'm not your employer anymore. Just a simple consultant. Ah, right. My apologies. Come now, let's start off on a new foot. We're colleagues after all. Excuse me, sir. A letter from Particio, sir. Hey, so people are genuinely Sorry, turning over new leaves. We're still short on goods and people. Literally and, and figuratively. A whole lot more of both. After all, our new venture is bigger than a Cetus Maximus. That rap scallion. If he's gonna send a letter, he could at least include some orders from on high. Now, now, I see no issue. It's a sign of his trust in us. And that can be the mark of a good leader, too. Well, besides, yeah. I'm sure he's busy out there somewhere <laughs> wrapping up another business deal. The president of Particio and Rock is a busy man, after all. Particio and Rock. Under company president Particio, the heavy taxes on the steam engine's use were abolished. In their stead, the company employed the poorest segments of society. As for the products Rock Brilliant had once monopolized, they were distributed freely to people all around the world. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> another day, another pile of overtime. So, so this is a decent chapter, except for the part where it trips. But yep. the part where it trips, it trips hard. Yep. Are you watching, brother? When I first met him, he handed me a silver coin. He spoke hopefully about a bright future, though I found it difficult at first to believe him. Nevertheless, even now, he's working tirelessly to see his dream fulfilled. An industrial revolution has come, and is beginning to change the world. <coughs> she cares very much about her brother. I wonder yeah. who he is. Ah! Uh. Hey, you! Yellow guy! Yep, it's me, hey, yellow there, guy. Son. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long trip to get here. My shoes could use a polishing. How about it, for old time's sake? Sure, you got it. I, uh, read something in a paper I found. It said you're trying to save the world from poverty. <laughs> That's right. Things are gonna change if I have my say. The steam locomotive's gonna see to that. The local what?
It's this big old hunk of iron that can speed all over the continent faster than a horse can gallop. The fella could see the world easy like if he was riding in one of them. Better yet, it'll help facilitate transport and cultural exchange. Everything will start growing closer. Wow, we. We. You know. We made I trades. I remember you saying you wanted to travel the world. Want a job that'll help make that dream come true? Yeah. You got yourself a deal, yellow guy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And thus we finish Porticio's chapter and his story, where he tries to change the world. I did not abuse that nearly as much as I should have. It's share SP. He already has share BP. Yeah, it seems like they should have flipped those skills. Made the share BP be the EX skill. Just, just, that's, yeah, you know, just kind of, uh, BP is a little bit more precious than SP. Yeah, it, it, it just feels like they really should have uh, made BP the EX skill and not the SP. We have banter! We do have banter. This is true. El Presidente. You can make a case that Porticio has wound, winds up as the most important party member in terms of like their status in the world. I mean, he did kind of absolutely break Rock in half. Yeah. At least mentally, he pretty much shook Rock to his very foundation. Yeah. But who's going to invent the seed drill? You can make a case that Porticio is the big good for the setting, because he is trying to save the entire world. I mean, I can't argue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I have a dream. To make ceramic unicorns? Mwah. 
I don't remember the lyrics to that song. <laughs> That's right, Lantern hasn't seen Tangled, has he? Yes, he has. Oh, has he? Okay. Yep, but I, I did it for a server movie night once. Huh. I don't remember it well. I remember liking it just fine. At some point a... some point in time, they run across this tavern full of people that look like they'd kill you soon as look at you. Oh! And there's a whole point. song sequence about the dreams they all have. Yes. That's right. The snuggly duckling. <laughs> One of them was voiced by Brad Garrett. Ah, uh, Brad Garrett. <laughs> Why are you doing Jimmy John's commercials, man? Gotta get a paycheck after everybody loves Raymond ended. Hmm. And it took hiring four guys for 30,000 leaves. Twice. I'll say it's to get a castle in Winterbloom with a bunch of servants who pretend to be vampires. I, I think that'd be closer to Throne's dream. That, that's a caffeine, man. Mm. Or sugar. Both. Both. Mm. They've invented the, the mocha latte. Mm. She needs her coffee coffee with her creamer creamer. But is it in the nebula? Mm. Mm. Uh, Voyager. Sorry, I saw that episode like five weeks in a row at one point because UPN could not air for crap. Yeah, that is very true. And like, that's a very memeable line. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, just... jerky department store. I remember <laughs> that banner. Yeah. Oh, God, that was a great banner. You say that, and we have a place not far from us that sells apparently like smoked fish. Yeah, it looks like a South African country originally. A uh, company, I mean. Yeah. That. Are you that sure that the side quest is not handled by beating him senseless? It is not handled by beating him. Oh, banter. Banter, banter, banter. Oh, Chet has jerky. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure beastlings need vegetables. I mean, if Ochet is anything like a cat, vegetables are literally next to useless. Yeah, this is why you should not put your cats and dogs on a vegan diet. Yep. Dogs, you might be able to get away with it, but I still wouldn't risk it, depending on the dog. Yeah. Most, a at least half of do, at least half of known dog breeds and 100% of cat breeds need meat. There yep. are amino acids and such in meat that they cannot produce on their own and they cannot live without. And mm -hmm. you cannot replicate this with tofu. Yep. Huh, she has parents. Go figure. Yeah. I mean, of course she had biological parents, but... Actual beings that raised her. Huh. I kind of assumed assume Juva did. Yeah? Uh-oh, Cassie's gonna bring out the mom voice. Oh no. Oh no, she's pulling a shift for us. <laughs> Have I talked about Mama Wana and the LP? Probably not. 
so when I was in the Dominican Republic a few years ago, um, we were doing this snorkeling trip where I mostly hung out on the boat because it turns out I don't do well in deep water. Uh, but anyway, as we're finishing that up, the guy who owns the boat is like, oh, you need to have a drink of national drink of Dominican Republic. Here it is, marijuana, it puts hair on your chest. And my mom's like, oh, what's in it? It is red wine, rum, and herbs. What kind of herbs? And like, my brother and I turn and look at my mom and we're like, don't ask that kind of questions. They're medicinal herbs! But what kind of medicinal herbs? Medicinal herbs! Marijuana, ma suerte! But what kind of- Mom, no, just take the damn drink. It was quite tasty. Were you high after it, though? No. Waste of an opportunity, man. I mean, that's why people at my old church wanted me to get to Bolivia. <laughs> that's another story. I would say that's a completely different story. A I completely didn't... different, um, herbs. Yeah, I, I didn't wind up going to Bolivia, but they're like, you should go on the trip with us, the mission trip with us. Oh, you think I'd be helpful and, like, you want to spiritually bond with me and you think my skills would be useful? Hell no! I just want to see you coked out of your mind! It's like, we want to oh. hit the powder! They have oh, they... skiing in Bolivia? <laughs> you apparently, sweet summer child. Apparently, as soon as you get off the plane, the group that would be greeting us would give you coca tea, which is made with exactly what you think it is. Yeah. Coconut. Sure. <laughs> Coconut. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> I didn't think those grew in such high altitude. <laughs> High altitude, you say? <laughs> Very high. What do they give you when you get to the top of Mount Everest? A parachute and a prayer? Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and with you that get... travel banter and these revelations out of the way, I think this marks a good time to take a break. When we return, <laughs> we will be hitting up our next story. As for which one that is, you'll have to tune in and find out. So until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.